up YouTube? It's a beautiful morning in the Ozarks and we are headed to the creek to catch cattle. Morning budget. Let's go. Good morning, little baby. Moo to you. Moo to you guys. Pull open this gate right here and see if we can get all them cattle to follow us. Cows like cubes. <laughs> Help some more. Move to you. About to get real. Got a little bit of feed. You pour it, they will come. Oh yeah, and you gotta holler murr. Waylon's running the cattle out. I'm playing the gate man. Cause I'm a wimp, you know. That's, it's important. You gotta find your wimp and that's, I'm that guy. There's our load, right there. That's one, pretty easy. Kind of drove around different sections, different fields and picked out which ones he uh, wanted to take and what would work out the best for us as far as grabbing some pretty quick. And um, and now we're, we've got them loaded up. We're gonna head up to his place. We're gonna grab a trailer and come back. The reason why we didn't bring a trailer in the first place, um, which seems like the, the best bet, show up with the trailer right off the bat a lot of times it spooks them and then they don't want to deal with you and they get agitated and get yourself in a dangerous situation trying to get them in there also so this just works out better let's go get a trailer a little bit of minerals well there's a good trailer right there well there's a ball under here somewhere there you are oh back Nailed it. Sealing all this up right here. Well, they can't get out. Well, we started with seven. Everything was going real good, and somehow we only ended up with four because they uh, they tore the gates down. They got things got crazy, but um, he's gonna try and holler at some, see if some are stupid enough to come back, so we can load them up. And if they are, great. If not, you know we can wish them one hand, and you know, in the other. Got us one more in there. He gonna send it on around through here, through this pin, and on in. In. See you later. All right, guys. Hands and arms inside the ride at all times. No puking on your friends. Off to the sail barn. Get, 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 get,
Um, check us out on Instagram. I don't know. Share it with your friends. Pet my puppy dog. Where's my puppy dog? Can't find him. He's hiding. You see him? Sneaky dog. Huckleberry! So somehow, I've got to make this mess move or disappear. I wish I could do that by snapping my fingers. That'd be nice. Let's try that. Kobe. Well, it's in after a bunch of aggravation and it's not like I put anything away where it needs to go really I'm gonna put a few sockets away with everything else I just moved it you'll probably notice there's just junk everywhere I had this cleaned up really nice last winter I did several projects I did a good job of cleaning up behind myself and and doing everything the way it was supposed to be you know it should be done it makes everything a lot easier when you know where everything is supposed to be you know where all your your tools are, you know where this part is, you know where these extra parts are, where the belts are, the blades are, where, you know, all your welding stuff, all your, your wrenches. Anyways, it's, um, it's a real pain in the butt to try to work in a mess. Even though I kind of know where some of this stuff is in this mess, it's just been a really hot summer. I've done a bunch of little, little jobs. I rebuilt some forks on a 450F, you know, I've done some welding on the skid steer, I've worked on a lot of hay equipment, just, you know, whatever come through here. And um, it's been really hot, so I haven't taken the time to clean up and get everything where it's supposed to be. So I kind of made the choice to make a mess, but at the same time, now I'm disappointed because it's, uh, it's a disaster. So as it starts to get cold, we start running out of things to do because I don't have any cattle. I don't have any, uh, any livestock at all right now to... Um, to have to tend to. So I'll spend my time here in the shop lighting fires in the stove and I got a jet ski to rebuild. I got a suspension to rebuild on a Tri-Z. I got a lot, I got a lot going on in here. I got a lot of projects I want to build onto the shop, add onto it this winter. I may want to clear a little bit of woods, try to make a little more pasture. Just a lot that I need to do. But I've been waiting for cooler weather and it's almost here. So um so I'm gonna take a little bit of time, get all this stuff organized, and uh, and uh, hopefully I'll do better next year. 
seems to be my um, every year I make a mess and there's no sense in it but uh, as far as the welding table goes I'm gonna weld some brackets underneath to hold the welder you know I'm no fancy uh, classically trained welder or anything like that but uh, I can get by here on the farm and um, anyways we're gonna I'm gonna add some some little braces to hold it up and you know have the welder right where it needs to be so you got all the room you need to reach wherever you want to go and there's nothing on the floor and uh, and uh, and uh, also I don't know if you can see it there in the background there's a little baby p-dub see if we can get in here and see it it's hidden back there that was my son's first bike he started riding it at 18 months my son Dilly my new baby he's um, he just turned a year old, so, uh, you know, we're probably going to spend some time this winter getting that thing ready for him because dirt bikes is just a little something we like. So until next time, thanks for watching. Um, like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and um, we'll shoot you some more videos. See ya. All right, well, here I am at home at last after a long day of catching calves and whatnot. Um, Huckle breeze. Poopity poop. Dad gummit. What was I gonna say? I don't remember what I was gonna say.